I'm Ashley Jenkins and let's finish 2013 with a bit of news! On December 23rd, Warner Brothers Games teased an upcoming announcement for the Batman Arkham series of games, though details about exactly what we could expect were thin on the ground. Speculation has ranged from story-based DLC for the newest game, Batman Arkham Origins, to a reveal for the next game in the series. Now, they've released another tease in the form of an invitation to the Humanitarian of the Year Awards, which hints that Origins will be getting new content that covers the origin story for classic chili villain Mr. Freeze. In the animated series, Ferris Boyle, the CEO of Goth Corp, receives the award for Humanitarian Industrialist of the Year, only to be revealed as a thief. It turns out he actually stole the cryogenic formula from Victor Freeze and knocked him into the vat of chemicals that transformed him into Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze doesn't feature in Batman Arkham Asylum, which chronologically takes place after Batman Arkham Origins, but you can scan his prison cell and learn that his origin story in the game's series lines up with that of the animated series. Since we haven't seen anything of him yet in Origins, it would make sense to cover his creation at this point in the Arkham timeline. Next up, a group calling themselves Derp after the popular meme have gone on a spree of DDoS attacks, taking down League of Legends, Dota 2, EA.com, Club Penguin, and World of Tanks, though they've all recovered now. The group started off with a warning on Twitter, saying, something special planned for League of Legends. Shortly afterward, the League of Legends North American, European, and Oceanic servers were attacked and taken offline, followed by Battle.net, Club Penguin, EA.com, and World of Tanks. I mean, who attacks Club Penguin? After the first attack on the Dota servers, the group targeted popular Twitch streamer Phantom Lord and threatened to take the servers back down if he lost the match he was streaming, which he did. The servers went back down shortly after. The situation escalated when police were called to the streamer's house for a hostage situation. Just had an automatic pointed at me, put in handcuffs, and sat in the back of a cop car as I watched six policemen go through my whole house, Phantom Lord explained afterwards. The affected game servers seem to have recovered, but the group is continuing its campaign with more recent attacks against the RuneScape website and EVE Online website. On a brighter note, Steam is having a very happy holiday. At the beginning of December, they passed the 7 million peak concurrent users almost exactly a year after passing the 6 million concurrent user mark. That's awesome! But even more awesome is that less than a month later, they've left that mark in the dust and have now peaked at more than 7.6 million concurrent users. The top contributor by far to Steam's current numbers is Dota 2, which peaked today at more than 584,000 people playing at the same time. Other major players are Counter-Strike Global Offensive with 96,000 peak users, Left 4 Dead 2 with 94,000, and Team Fortress 2 with 80,000. Left 4 Dead 2 has seen a major boost over the last several days since Valve offered the game free on Christmas Day, which led to legitimately overloaded servers as eager hordes of gamers logged in to download it. Finally, cooperative free-to-play third-person shooter Warframe may be coming to Xbox One after receiving an 18-plus rating for the next-gen Microsoft console in Europe, though nothing officially has been announced. Warframe, which is currently available on PC and PlayStation 4, allows up to four players to team up and wage war against a race of militarized human clones, a megacorporation, and victims of a technocyte plague who have been warped into monstrosities. Xbox One currently has only one free-to-play game, Killer Instinct, but Microsoft Game Studios chief Phil Spencer has previously reaffirmed that they want to support more free-to-play titles. Last month, he said, we're completely committed to it. I think it's a great model for gamers, and obviously a ton of creators are embracing it as well. He's also said that he believes the success of the free-to-play model relies on scale, so viability will improve as more consoles are sold. And that's it! That's the last news we have for 2013! What do you think of the hints about Mr. Freeze's creation as the basis for upcoming Batman Arkham Origins DLC? Think it's legit, or do you have a different theory? Let us know in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com tomorrow, where we'll stream a new episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch, just for our sponsors.